Events like the Evergreen State Fair in Monroe are an opportunity to celebrate the family farms still operating here and educate other people about where their food comes from. For Chloe Groneveld, uh, I've grown up here. <laughs> these fairgrounds are an extension of home. She knows this milking barn inside and out. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> Same goes for the work she did since she was little on her family's farm. It's just awesome. I love cows and I love where I've grown up. She and her brother Ison have learned what they love most about the business. Working on the farm, I like to work with the machinery. But they're coming of age during a major shift in the dairy industry. USDA data showed the number of farms declined declining from more than 600,000 in the 70s to fewer than 20,000 decades later, even as milk production went up. A report from the agency says the entire sector is consolidating. It's hard to turn a profit unless you have enough cows to offset costs. Many longtime locals have seen dairies dwindle in western Washington, but they say many families are now innovating, bottling and selling locally, reshaping their businesses and expanding education. I think our job here now for Snohomish County is just trying to spread that word, trying to educate public by it, by showing at the fair, exhibiting your animals. For Anna Groneveld, seeing her kids share their passion with others is complex. It's pretty exciting. It's also scary to watch them come into the next generation because agriculture is challenging. Those challenges include weather prices, consumer preferences, and mental health impacts. But for many, the way of life is in their blood. It's something that you grow up with. You learn as a child the struggles and for us, we've said go away, go find yourself and come back. And if you, if this is where your passion is, then come back. But you can always be an advocate for, for agriculture. They hope events like this spread the word. You don't just go to the store and get milk. No, there's so much history and a lot of hard work behind that. To help grow support for buying local and inspire the next generation. In Monroe, Eric Zuko, King 5 News.